everybody. It's time to get... That's right, the show that makes you reach for the stars over a pile of bruised and battered bodies. Brought to you by Presto Studios, Microsoft, and God's gift to the cathode ray tube, he's talent personified, a dream come true, and a really beautiful person, your host, Fantastic! Hey there, guys and gals, and all you sick weirdos in between. Are you ready to get... <laughs> That's the spirit. Who says the public are cheap? Hey, wait a minute. I think that was me. Man, am I on today or what? So what kind of game are we going to subject our suckers, I mean contestants, to today? Oh, boy. With that intro, just brought back a whole lot of nostalgia. So, a lot of my older viewers are going to remember the game Whacked, which was like a very mature type game. And it was sort of like a game show where you can versus your friends and stuff like that. As you can see from game show mode, where you unlock like other characters, stadiums, weapons and stuff like that. It's been like years since I played this game. And I just got like this game for my family and everything. This is on like original and I mean like the original Xbox. So some of you guys remember when Presto Gaming, well, Presto Studios was like around. I don't I don't think they're around anymore from what I know. Because I've never really seen their logo since, like, the original Xbox. But, dude. It's bringing back so many memories, that's for sure. I'm not sure if the music's, like, copyrighted or anything. Even if it is, I don't care. Because this is, like, nostalgia for me. Alright, create a profile. The controls for this, I remember, are being, are, like, really weird. I think you were using, like, one... I think it was a left stick to, like move and look around right but it's gonna go normal out of the way let's meet today's contestants <laughs> I mean I did say it was a mature type game <laughs> hello everybody and welcome to the show here's how the game is played the way you win is by competing against each other in a series of light-hearted and potentially lethal games. Do I know how to get ready to what? If you survive all our deadly levels of fun, you'll be rewarded with, drum roll please, the prize! <laughs> what, you may ask, is this fabulous prize? Well, I can't tell you that, but I can tell you it's fantastic! It's big. It's shiny. It's a pure silk, air-conditioned, chocolate-covered, solid gold, tax-free, extra cheese, double D, finger licking lap dance of WOW! But enough about that. And what game show would be any fun without sophisticated weaponry? Oh, do we have weapons? Just a few knickknacks I picked up at the flea market. Say it. Let's get a couple volunteer contestants to try these babies out. How about... Let's have a look at your pea shooter, Slick. Fine. And how about the penguin? Well, uh, actually, uh, Van, I, I, I'm not a penguin. I'm more of a... <laughs> Great. Slightly now, gentlemen, <gasps> think fast. Oh! Ah! <laughs> Who wants a carrot where the sun don't shine? <laughs> well, this is something the old Vanster wasn't prepared for. I guess the ladies never accused you two of being all hands. <laughs> well, okay, what to do? Oh, I've got it. Presto! <laughs> Special effects. Choose a contestant. This contestant's feet were taken by a good luck charm. Okay. And he just can't seem to stop whining about it. Let's hear it for Lucky. <laughs> but yeah, out of everybody, Tooth is my favorite. <laughs> but we're probably going to go Lucky. This flightless waterfowl comes all the way from Caposcase in Canada. Yearns for the wings of an eagle. Just to show those lousy penguins are bigger too. 
Let's give a hearty welcome to everyone's best friend, Eugene! I think only one person has, like, dialogue for this, and I think that's, uh, Lucy. After seeing him being thrown out of several all-you-can-eat buffets. Let's have a delicious helping of applause for Toof! Batten down your lumberyard, boys, because this contestant is sure to get at your wood. Put your sweaty palms together for Lucy! I think my team speaks for itself. Don't you? Yeah, like I said, Lucy was the only one who had dialogue for that. We're just gonna go to. <laughs> now that we've met our fascinating contestant, it's time to get weird. It's like you read my mind. <laughs> Let's take a look at stage one. God, this brings back so many memories. It's gonna be A. Just because I gotta complete all these. Gotta complete all three. This controller does have a little drift thing. I think I might have to go grab a different one if it becomes too much. But yeah, it has quite a lot of weaponry and stuff like that. I know there's like superpowers in here too that you can get for your character. I don't remember how to get those though. But yeah, these are the basic weapons you'll find. So the first challenge is to kill chickens. Oh god. Controlling this, I forgot, is like really weird. Because like I said, you're using like one joystick to move and look. I just got to get used to it like back then because back then I was actually really good at this game. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, there's a ton of traps on each map, too. There's, like, some really interesting, like, traps, too. Or, like, Easter eggs. To where you just get this battery and put it inside of one of the... Um... Oh, wait, hold up, hold up. To where you get this battery and put it inside, like, one of the toy machines or tanks. And you could use it as a weapon. Excuse me, I'm just gonna grab my stuff here. Thank you. So basically this stage doesn't have a time limit, it's just basically collect without like dying too much. But you can easily get overrun and just peck to death. Get that or you can kill yourself like I did. Ah, God. <laughs> yeah, just like that. <laughs> I just collect these. Oh, God. Turning around is weird. <laughs> Thank God I got it. <laughs> God, it, it feels like so much more over the all over the place. I think it might just be the controller. Because we did like get a few controllers that have like this drifting effect that's just like really annoying so i'm gonna go change it out be right back okay to be honest i think they're all just gonna be really loose and weird i used to have like this
custom controller from like um what was it cat something and now god i can't remember it sponsor. oh my god the commercials i totally forgot about this hello children have you ever wondered how to walk with a rock here are some ways that you can share with your sister <laughs> There's actually a lot of these funny commercials inside of this. I totally forgot about these. <laughs> this was a little bit more. Uh, nah, nah. I think it's just the weird running effect that the game had. I just got to get used to that. King of the Hill. Got about this mode. Somebody should just keep them off. Where is it? Oh, it's over there. What? Why'd that hit me and not him? Oh no, did I get the controller that has the weird... No! I regret this. I regret switching on controllers. One of the controllers has like this weird issue with the um, X button to where it doesn't confirm half of the time. Like, you guys can hear me spamming the shit out of it. Ah, can I grab this? Thank you. I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna sit here, guys. Yeah, kill her. Why me? They're like, what the fuck? She's in the lead. <laughs> uh, I knew it was gonna hit on this. To be honest, the AI is pretty smart. I'm not gonna lie to you. Got to keep spamming it until it confirms, which I hate about this controller. Oh. They're trying to like step on me and take my weapon. Yeah, that's how you can take people's weapons by like jump slamming them. I won't be able to do that with this controller, that's for sure. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Charity is God damn it. Okay, that was terrible. The leader beam will give her away. I need to change out this controller. That's for sure. Holy shit. The, this one's terrible. I, I can't. <laughs> I totally forgot that there was an issue with the X button for some of these. Okay. I had to go back and get the original controller that I had. This is a lot better. <sighs> yeah, the other controllers are definitely not as good as I thought, or unless they have like a. No, they don't have like a cooldown for how many times you can hit it. God damn it. I forgot this game has like. A little bit of aiming assist when it comes to like the basic attack. Charity is holding on to the lead. Charity can't quite take the win. So dirty. I can rob. Stop pushing me. Like they're using their bodies to push me off, and it's Charity annoying. Oh my god, turn around, get get it. Thank you. Charity can't quite take the win. I'm trying to hit her, I can't. Charity is holding on to the lead. Six is in the lead. <laughs> 
<laughs> she just called me a bitch. What the fuck? Okay, 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 okay. Grab it, grab it. Yes! Ah! He's gonna try and kill me. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. I went. <laughs> God, I wish they would have just give me the look on the right controller. <laughs> like, it's so difficult to using, like, oh, yeah, the bats. The bats are, like, extremely good for knocking people, like, across the map or off the map. Extremely damn good. And now, a word from our sponsor. <laughs> Put it in the can, scrapple. <laughs> Scrapple. God damn it. <laughs> so many memories. Alright, we're gonna do one more. Okay, so this one's just straight up combat. Kill people, take stars. Whoever has the most stars at the end wins. The bat is good for just knocking stars out of people. <laughs> the further they go, the more stars they lose. I totally forgot that was a trap. God damn it. This is, uh, apparently my mind is going to work and say, hey, dude, maybe you should stop running over the damn trap. <laughs> Who has the most stars? God damn it. Of course, she has invisibility. Now I'm just going to get used to this game once again. God damn it. Because aiming is so weird. <laughs> Get away from me, Lucky. Little oh, shit. Die. Yes, you. Yes, you did actually. God damn it. You can also stand over weapons just to take them. Stop trying to hit me with the bat, please. The bat is like really OP. <laughs> Dude, I about to say, I still hear people behind me. Okay, we just need to gather these stars. There are such things as star mines too, but that's from the. I think from the question mark? Okay, why, why is my screen going that way? Ah! God damn it. So many stars gone. Where's Lucy? Ah, there it is. Just the amount of stars that I needed. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Damn right I can. Oh no. Give me your stars. Believe it or not, this was like a really fun family game. Aha! <laughs> because <laughs> you can change it to like 200 stars if you actually wanted to keep going. There's like little Easter eggs all over to the left where you can watch the TV. That's also commercial. As you go through the game, you unlock more things. This, this one was annoying because you literally stay stuck to an opponent and shock the hell out of them. Occasionally, accidents do happen. <laughs> if 
only there was a way to clean up those annoying oil spills that was safe and affordable. Well, affordable. Good news. After over a weekend of research, Afron scientists have made a remarkable discovery. Let's take a look. What you are seeing is oil at its molecular level. Watch now as we introduce a biogenetic agent that has been specifically engineered to assimilate petroleum-based substances. Use words even you would understand. This little bugger actually eats oil. Our little friend seems to have quite an appetite. Hmm, he's gonna get a tough... And that's how Tuke is made. <laughs> <laughs> that should give you a good idea of what we're dealing with. As I said, Tooth is my favorite character. <laughs> but we're going to end it off there. If you guys want more, do leave a like and let me know. <laughs> because I miss this game. I actually have a few, well not a few, a lot of other original Xbox games to you know show off so if you guys want to see more just let me know with that said until then peace out